As well as some of the food on offer, the Chusok break is an opportunity to enjoy some cultural activities and folk games that are only available during this festive season. Our Jim Young Gil has more. The Korea Tourism Organization in downtown Seoul is offering various festivities to help visitors discover the city's traditional site and experience Korean culture. Various folk games such as the Kangang Sule are played on Chuseok to celebrate the coming of autumn and a rich harvest. The Kangang Sule is a traditional folk dance performed exclusively by women under the full moon on the night of Chuseok to bring a bountiful harvest for the year. Women dressed in hanbok, the traditional Korean dress, join hands and sing a song while they dance around in a circle. It was interesting, our first uh, time coming all the way from Nisha, experiencing the Korean culture itself. And to do the dancing is very interesting and exciting. Visitors can enjoy plenty of fun folk games that are played around the holiday, such as tuho, arrow throwing, originally an exercise to help warriors hone their skills. Well, it was rather difficult for me because it was the first time I did it. At the end, I could uh, throw two arrows in the hole. In another corner of the hall, tourists are learning to play a traditional board game called yunnori and tegichagi, which is similar to kicking a hacky sack, as well as pengichigi or top spinning. Yeah, it's quite fun, and then uh, it kind of reminds me of my childhood. We have a similar kind of game like this one in Taiwan. I quite enjoy it actually. Although Chuseok can be a lonely time for international residents, they can use the holiday period as an opportunity to gain a better understanding of Korea's rich culture. All programs are free and open to the public on a first-come, first-served basis through September 9th. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.